In this video, we're going to take a look at percent notation. And uh, I'm going to give you a couple of different meanings. One is my meaning and, and the way I interpret it. And the other one is uh, I, I'm, I took a, a Latin class when I was in high school. And I got to tell you, I really loathed the, the idea of being in a Latin class that first day. And out of all the classes I took in high school, it is the one class I use the most. That class has been absolutely unbelievable. And so I just wanted to go ahead and, and, and throw a shout out to uh, my, my teacher, OJ, if he's still alive. And, uh, and thank him for, very much for that class, because that was just a phenomenal class. But what it taught me to do is, is to break things down. And so I broke down the word percent into something that I kind of, it means something to me. And in Latin, cent typically refers to something out of 100. And so percent in math terms, per typically means I'm going to divide something. So I'm going to divide a number by, and the cent refers to 100. And so if you want to write percent notation as nothing but a fraction, it is simply that number divided by 100. And that is the first way that I, that I give you down here in the yellow. Just take the number and, multiply, and divide it by 100. Now consequently, it kind of falls out of that, that you also can just take the number and multiply it by 1 one hundredth. And uh, I, as I was looking around to find some kind of uh, realistic uh, citation to use, other than my own poor memory and, uh, and sometimes out and out just guessing and half lying, um, I did find this on the University of Notre, Notre Dame's website. Uh, and they have an English to Latin dictionary. And according to them, if you put in the one percent, you'll get the word, uh, let me see if I can remember my, my Latin here, centesimus, which means of the 100th part. And so percent, again, refers to that 100th part. In decimals, you simply multiply it by 0.01 and that will give you a percent. Another way to look at decimals, really, is that you take the percentage, and so if we have 30%, you simply write a zero, and then a decimal point, and then you write down the percentage. And so this would be 30, or 0.3. Okay, it gets a little tougher when you're, when you're having to deal with, say, percentages that are less than one. Uh, but I'll kind of work you through one of those. So just Remember that when you come up to a new word, try to break the word down. Very often, English does not invent its own words. It's kind of a, a, a thieving language. Rather than come up with its own, which is way too hard, it's way more efficient to just say, we'll steal from somebody else. All right, let's go ahead and practice this. And so we have our three ways here. And I say convert the following to each of the three ways. Okay, so we're going to rewrite these. And we're going to rewrite them in these forms as the number over 100, as the number times 1 over 100, and as the number times 0 0.01. The only difference is when we write it the third way times 0 0.01, we're actually going to carry out the multiplication. And so for the first one, we're simply going to write down, this is 27 divided by 100, or 27 one hundredths. The other way to write it is, it is 27 times 1 over 100 or 27 of one one or 27 one one hundredth parts. And then the final way of writing it is 27 times 0 0.01. But if you rewrite that out, this is simply just moving the decimal point over to the left two spots. And so this is going to give us 0 0.27. Okay, we're going to go ahead and copy the, what we just did, but we're going to use these other two examples. And these are examples that are extreme. So when you see, hear somebody say, oh boy, uh, this, this price jumped 300% in the last five years. Okay, what does that really mean? Well, if we write it out in hundredths, it's the number, which is 239, divided by 100. Or you can write it as 239 times 1 over 100. Or, in my personal favorite, it is 239 
times 0 0.01, which is really 2.39. And I believe this is what gets people a lot, is here we have something that is not a decimal or doesn't seem to be. It really is a decimal. I apologize for that coming up. Uh, every now and then it backs up my, my flash drive onto my computer so I don't lose important things like, oh, these notes. Uh, and so 239% or anything over 100%, you're actually multiplying by a number that is greater than 1. And so that means it's going to increase by that factor. By the same token, uh, rewriting 0.37% uh, isn't so bad. Uh, we have 0 0.37 out of 100. Now, your instructor may say, okay, simplify this. In order to do that, you kind of have to multiply both top and bottom by 100. It gives you 37 over 10,000. Okay, and so if they ask that you not have decimals in the numerator, you, you really need to rewrite it as 37 over 10,000. Uh, but the other way to write it is 0 0.37 times 1 over 100. Again, you may have to uh, simplify this. And the third way is a little bit tricky, but you still go through the same process. 0 0.37 times 0 0.01. The only difference is when you write this, you notice it's less than 1%. 1% would have been right here. You would have had a 1. Well, this is a little less than 1. In fact, it's 0.37. And so it extends beyond that second decimal place. And this is how to write decimals, uh, or uh, excuse me, percents, as fractions and decimals. Most often in a practical setting, you are going to tend to write them as a ratio, which is the first way or as a decimal. That's the reason kind of why I put those two together. And then the third way is, yeah, it is a technically correct way to write it. It's just not very practical to use. It's, it's very time consuming. So practice this because you're going to want to be able to go back and forth at, on a whim. Absolutely.